I'll do it seven. A painting that once belonged to a Jewish art collector is now back with his family. Yeah, the painting was stolen by Nazis during World War II. CBS 17's Judith Ratana is at UNC Chapel Hill with why returning the painting matters. A painting depicting the studio of French artist Thomas Couture spent 50 years at UNC's Ackland Art Museum with a hidden history. I think the importance of Nazi-era looted items has really increased um, in the last 20 to 30 years. Dana Cowan is a curator at the museum. She says the 1800s era painting belonged to Jewish art collector Armand Isaac Dorville until his death. An art historian working with that family had looked on our online web search and saw that we had a painting that was listed in an auction record from 1942. Dorville left his 450 piece art collection to his family. They sold it as they tried to flee Nazi persecution. The family did not benefit from the sale of the items and several of Dorvi's family members did end up uh, in Auschwitz. And so to write this historic wrong is so important. An heir to Dorville's collection traveled from France to Chapel Hill to retrieve the missing painting. It's closing a circle that it's coming back to them. Museum director Katie Ziegler says it served as an important learning tool. We will miss it. It was um, an important work. Um, Couture was a, a teacher of so many painters in France in the 19th century. Lost historic items can be difficult to track down, but you can always count on a paper trail. The Nazis did keep good records, so there are uh, files and files of uh, items. Files Dorville's family is still sorting through. Now the family is still working on getting the entire collection back together, but they know this effort could take several generations. In Chapel Hill, Judith Ratana, CBS 17 News.